This is so exciting! Then boom, there's a disclaimer. Pause to read, click to skip, and definitely support the sites that are linked below. Some of these are centuries old, while others seem freshly minted. Though not necessarily cliches themselves, these nigh unavoidable narrative tools range from compelling to trite. Where there is a story to tell, there is every trope in Bob's Burgers Season 1, Episode 1. <laughs> There are a lot of convoluted copy pasta explanations of the brick joke online. Rather than bother with any of that, I'll be using the following distillation. A brick joke is a form of basic joke where the punchline does not immediately follow the setup. Where a basic joke is two parts, consisting of one, the setup, which may or may not be a joke in itself. Have you ever tried shawarma? I don't know what it is, but I want to try it. We're not finished yet. And second, the punchline. The brick joke adds a third element, the time between the setup then punchline. Part of the humor in the brick joke is the buildup of anticipation. anticipation of unexpected punchlines or later payoff without the time between the two elements being the focus of the joke. In Bob's Burgers Season 1, Episode 1, Human Flesh, the brick joke involves a public health notice Hugo plasters all over the front windows of the restaurant. <laughs> Despite the gasps of horror and terrified staring of the onlookers, the old lady remarks that she might still try it. I'd, I'd try it. There's no way. The scene involving this old lady showing up happens around the 9 minute and 20 second mark. It's over 9! It's 9-3! Nine, 9 is divisible by 3! That doesn't make sense! It isn't till 10 minutes later, as the episode's wrapping up around the 19 minute and 30 second mark of the 22 minute episode, that she shows up again with her adventurous eaters group. Let me in! Still serving human flesh? No. Yes! No! We have kind of an adventurous eaters club. We like to try new things. Can you seat 25 people? And that's where the payoff is. It takes us about 10 minutes or almost half the episode length to get from this... I'd... I'd try it. ...to the joke. Still serving human flesh? The brick being that 10 minutes in between. Since we're on the topic of human meat, the next trope is the I'm a humanitarian. Human flesh? Wait, 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 wait. And it makes a great second course. If a vegetarian eats vegetables, what does a humanitarian eat? Human flesh, anything above the 4% allowable by the FDA. Nope, this is not a trope about humanitarianism, but it is a rather convoluted name for the taboo-riddled trope of cannibalism itself. The restaurant does not actually serve human flesh, although it absolutely did in the pilot as the original concept for the series had the Belchers actually using human meat. It's made with human remains from the crematorium next door. <gasps> A very popular sub-variant of the I'm a humanitarian trope is having people eat something not knowing what it really is, and then discovering a ghastly truth. There's a rumor you make your burgers with human remains from the crematorium next door! This trope is known as the secret of long pork pies. Why long pork, you say? Well, pork because there is this idea that human flesh is superficially like that of a pig, and long because we're taller upright creatures. It is, however, not known for sure if the Belchers ate human meat or simply served it up. Although closely interrelated, these three distinct tropes are all the tropes in Bob's Burgers Season 1, Episode 1. Did we get it wrong? Was there something we missed? Well, tell us in the comments below and you might be credited in a future episode. Thanks for watching, and if you feel like it, click another one.